Hi Pisces, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say is please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. I will never send you a phone number for you to contact me or reach out to me. So if you receive a message with a phone number, please be careful. Those are scammers. That is not me. All right. Let's get started. Let's take, let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you, Pisces. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Pisces, whoever Pisces is connecting to and dealing with in love. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so the first card we have is the Two of Wands. Some of you might be connecting to a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. This is someone who's thinking about the potential of a new beginning with you. But they are indecisive here. about taking action towards you. They're just thinking about it. You know, I feel like they're asking themselves, is, is this going to be worth it? Am I going to have success? Is Pisces going to reciprocate? Yeah. So this person is thinking about you and thinking about um, coming towards you here with the intention of having a new beginning with you. Let's see what else. Tell me more about their current feelings for Pisces spirit. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is someone who's single or someone who sees themselves as someone who's single, unattached, someone free, free to do as they please. So this is why they're indecisive here with the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who they're not sure if, if, if they're ready for a relationship right now or if that's what's best for them right now or if they should just keep to themselves and stay single, stay alone and just focus on themselves and focus on their work, their career or their finances. Tell me more about their current feelings. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. So this person feels like they went through some kind of emotional disappointment or heartbreak in the past. And they're nervous about putting themselves out there again. They don't want to 
get hurt again or get disappointed again. So they're indecisive here if they should pursue a new beginning with you because they feel like they're emotionally still hurting over something. Yeah. They're not sure if they've completely healed yet. They're still feeling the pain of some of some kind of emotional heartbreak that they went through. I don't know if it's with you or with somebody else. I'm not sure. Um, let's see what else. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me one more card. Okay, we have the card of temperance here. So yeah, temperance is all about healing. Like I said, I feel like this person is still trying to heal from some sort of emotional loss or heartbreak they went through in the past, a separation they went through in the past. Could be with you again or with somebody else, but I feel like this person does want you. They do want a new beginning with you. They just feel like they need to think about things more, more um, thoroughly. They're trying to connect to their intuition here with the temperance card. They're trying to listen to their heart and to follow their heart but the problem is that their heart is damaged right now. It's, it's wounded. So they're not, they're not really sure what their heart is telling them right now. Yeah. All right, let's look at the bottom of the deck. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Hmm. So this person would like to have a relationship here with the Four of Wands. They would like to have a relationship with you. They just don't know if they've done enough healing yet to be emotionally available for a, a relationship. We also have the Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person is definitely fighting their feelings for you with the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. They're pushing against their feelings for you. They're trying to think logically and practically with the Queen of Swords. They don't want to fall into disappointment or again or or into an illusion. So they are kind of being closed off here because they feel like they need to protect themselves right now. But they do want a relationship here with the four of wands. They do feel a, a deep connection with you. They're just having a hard time letting go, letting go of something they went through in the they went through in the past that that wounded them. Hmm. Okay. What are this person's um, intentions and desires with Pisces spirit?
Yeah, something about forgiveness. This person needs to um, learn how to forgive, apparently, is what it's saying. All right, their intentions and desires with Pisces spirit, please. All right, so I do feel like Pisces, this person does want to um, create balance and stability with you, with the justice card. Um, they do want to make you an offer here with the Page of Pentacles, but I almost feel like they're... To be honest, I almost feel like they're friend zoning you a little bit. Not because they want to, though, because we do have the two of cups here. So and the empress. So this is someone who does um, feel very deeply about you. They do have very deep feelings for you, but they they have a lot of internal conflict with the five of wands. And they don't want to lose you. With the justice card, they don't want to lose you. They want to um, maintain this connection with you. But I feel like they are going to be very honest with you about something that they're going through. With the Ace of Swords, I feel like they're going to be asking you for patience. And they are going to be extending out an offer to you but i feel like it's an it's an offer of friendship but it's like an offer of friendship or like an offer of you know like let's let's go slowly let's take things slow because i do feel like they do ultimately want to have a relationship with you But this person is dealing with things in their personal life that are really affecting their, their, their self-confidence and their self-esteem. There's emotional immaturity connected to this person. Uh, Pisces, okay? They're very emotionally immature. Yeah, and but they are carrying a lot of heavy burdens here with the Ten of Wands. And I feel like this person is going to want to take things slow with you. But they do want to they do want to turn things around between you and them with the death card, they do want to have a transformation with you. They just want to take things slowly. What's going on with the Four of Cups spirit? The, yeah, this, this Four of Cups, that's it. Tell me about that card spirit, thank you. We have the Knight of Wands and we have the Five of Wands. This person might have some sort of external relationship. Um, that they're still trying to resolve some kind of issue that they have with a 
with another person. I don't feel like they want to be with that person, though. It's not like they're interested in in somebody else. But I feel like they have some sort of conflict and issues that that are connected to other people or to another person, one individual or multiple individuals. And they feel like it's taking away their their peace of mind. And they feel like they need to resolve that first. Like an, like an ex, like an angry ex type of energy. Doesn't have to be that specifically, but that's kind of the energy, like an angry ex or like a toxic ex. Or just something, something in their life is bringing a lot of conflict and drama in their life and they feel like they need to resolve that first so that they can have more stability or, or tranquility or peace of mind because it's it's something that's bothering them and it's taking away their attention from you but it's not anything that they're really interested in they just don't want the conflict to exist in their life they want to move on from it they want they want to you know let it go but they feel like they need to like have some kind of closure you know before they can have a balanced relationship with you all right how do you feel pisces about whoever you're dealing with here. Let me just take another deck. All right, Spirit, show me what are Pisces' current feelings for this person. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Pisces, for you, we have the Justice card, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Swords. They also had the Justice card. I don't know if I mentioned the sign. Some of you might be dealing with another Pisces, a Sagittarius, a Libra, a Taurus. Scorpio is here. Yeah. All right. So there was a separation between you and this person. We do have the Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. But I do feel like you care about this person still and you're still holding a space for this person in your heart or in your life. I like this energy that you have here with the King of Swords. Um, you are, you know maintaining perspective here. You're not letting yourself get lost in your emotions. You're keeping your, your head um, you're keeping yourself level-headed, you know. You're being very rational and logical about this situation and I want to say diplomatic with the justice card. I do feel like you are being patient actually. Isn't that what I said about this person? Yeah, that they were asking you for patience. 
Yeah, Page of Pentacles, yeah, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person's asking you for patience here. I, I feel like you are being patient here with the Justice card. You're trying not to jump to conclusions. You're trying not to think any negative assumptions about this person. But you, you're also trying to be intelligent, you know, and and wise. You want a new beginning with this person, with the Ace of Cups, but you are going to be watching this person, you know, watching what they do and what they say, and you're going to be, you know, looking to see if their actions match with their words, you know, or if their words match with their actions. Because with the King of Swords, if this person um, shows you any type of inconsistency or if you feel like this person is lying to you in any kind of way, I, de I do see you in an energy of being ready to walk away with the Eight of Cups. I don't feel like you're doing that now. I feel like you're kind of giving this person the benefit of the doubt. And you're letting, you know, you're letting things come up to the surface. You're letting the truth come up to the surface on its own. You're letting this person show you their true colors for better or for worse. I feel like you are keeping a, a, an open space for this person with the Ace of Cups. There is an opportunity here for a new beginning in love, but you're definitely maintaining your dignity here. You're protecting your dignity here. You're keeping your standards high because you know you're worth it and you know you deserve it. And I feel like, you know, any little type of um, deception that you pick up from this person, you're going to walk away. You're not going to tolerate any type of um, immaturity from this person or lies from this person. Hmm. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Ten of Swords. Okay. That's interesting, the Ten of Swords. They also had a similar energy here with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So it's almost like, yeah, yeah, High Priestess. Yeah, Strength card. I was just about to say this. Look. Hold on, let me turn off this light. All right. Yeah, it's like, you know, you also went through some sort of pain here with the Ten of Swords. Like you've also gone through heartbreak and loss and disappointment. So it's not like you can't relate to them, you know? But with the strength card, it's like you're still, you're still doing what's right for you. Yeah, you're still you're still keeping strong and you're still doing what's right for you. You're still um, being fair with how you treat this person and how you um, how you connect with this person. It's like you're not projecting your issues from the past onto this person. So you expect the same thing in return.
you know, I'm getting that type of vibe, like, yeah, look at that, the Ten of Wands, the same card that they had, the Ten of Wands, so it's like, you know, it's not an excuse, basically, you know, it's not an excuse to, to act immature, or to be deceptive, or to play games, you know, So you're definitely going to be like testing this person and it, it, that's what it feels like you're you're going to take your time to test this person out. And you're going to you're going to you're going to find out if they are um at your at your level in regards to maturity. You're going to find out if this person is going to get serious or not. So, but I feel like you're giving them, you know, you're giving them time and space because you are someone who's understanding at the same time with the King of Swords. You know, you do understand that not everybody um, learns at the same pace, you know. Not, not everybody grows up at the same pace. So I feel like you're giving this person a chance to grow up, basically, and to, to do things correctly here and to be fair. Or to, to have an equal relationship with you or to prove that they can have a re an equal relationship with you. Hmm. And what's the most likely outcome? Let's take a look at that. What's the most likely outcome spirit um, between Pisces and this person? I do feel like there's a little bit of a back and forth energy going on between you and this person. Um, but the potential is there, though. I mean, we have a king and a queen here, king of pentacles and the queen of cups. So this is a, a pair here. This is a couple, though I don't know if it's the best couple, though. Hmm. I mean, we have the Ten of Cups here, so there is potential for a happily ever after to, to manifest. Um, again, there is someone here who's holding back with the Nine of Wands. There is some confusion here with the Seven of Cups. But it does look like there are mutual feelings here between you two. Both of you want this happily ever after. That's the, that's the point here. You want this happily ever after, they want this happily ever after. Something is missing here, though, between you two. You two are kind of like distant. Look at this energy here. Hold on. You know, King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. But there is this distance between you two. You two don't... It's almost like a intimacy is missing here. There's a lack of intimacy or a lack of you two connecting. I feel like both of you have your guards up also because you're, you're coming up as the king of swords. You have your guard up. They also have their guard up. Somebody needs to put their guard down. I feel like love, you know, that's what's missing here, love. 
the expression of love. You know, you might know it, they might know it, that the love is there, but it still needs to be shown and expressed, you know? That's still necessary, that's still an, an, an essential part of a relationship, of, of this relationship, of any relationship. So, yeah, you need to, you two need to like show love to each other. Any advice here for Pisces? Let's get that. What deck do I want to use? Oh, let's get the Hidden Truth. L hold on. Let's get Hidden Truth Oracle deck here. What does this person want to say to Pisces spirit? I bury myself in work to forget about you. You see, I bury myself in work to forget about you. Yeah, there's an avoidance here. It's time for me to heal now. It's time for me to heal now. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So many, so many things remind me of you. Yeah, this person needs time to heal, um, Pisces. So patience is needed. Um, <clears throat> if you really care about this person and if you're really interested in this person, then um, yeah, patience is needed. Any advice though? Let's get advice from the tarot cards. Um, advice for Pisces spirit, thank you. Oh, interesting. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, interesting. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Magician. So it's like I said, there's a lot of potential here for a long-term commitment, Pisces. And with the Magician and the Ace of Wands, I feel like you're manifesting a new beginning with this person. It might not seem like it, you know, it might it might seem like things are going slow or things are not going anywhere. But I feel like with the Magician card, um, things are progressing underneath the surface. Things are actually progressing between you two. And I feel like you two are um, moving towards a higher level of commitment. But like I said, it's like you two don't see that. It doesn't look like that from the outside. But I feel like you two are like meant to be together. I'm getting like a, a faded union here. And the magician can sometimes be the universe. So I feel like the universe is um, supporting this relationship and it just requires you to have patience and faith if this is what something you really want, okay? So um, let go of control, basically, is the, the advice. Let go of control. All right, um, Pisces, I hope this helped you, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.